Mass Bound Cup from Kaiser Powertronics here. Today it is uh, Thursday the 19th. This is my eighth day in isolation. So let's talk about things I should be repairing. So this is my small line of um, items I need to repair. This is mostly some more of the exotic high voltage gear that I have come across that yeah, either have stopped working while I owned it or I got it for free because it wasn't working. So if you start out over here, this is a 12 kilovolt non-destructive insulation tester. Uh, this is a um, quite interesting um, piece of equipment that you have a uh, test handle here where you activate the high voltage supply and then you uh, have a ground clip for the other end and you simply click this on to some uh, inner core um, cable um, or the inner core of the cable and then you have a meter range here of a one micro microamp uh, 10 hundred and you can choose between 6 kilovolt or 20, kil 10, 20 kilovolt and then it all only has a um, it also has an audible uh, amplifier built in so you can actually see the leakage current that you uh, measure through the insulation or you can also hear uh, audibly what you are yeah the the faults in the cable or once you find something where the the spark can jump through you can hear it in the speaker now the uh, second apparatus here is a Hafley impulse tester it's kind of the same thing except here you do not measure this is just the impulse generator it can uh, generate the pulses from uh, 500 volts up to 6 kilovolt and up to two joules of energy and it works uh, as a follows you power it on you activate the high voltage you can go in manual or auto mode trigger manually uh, auto mode you can choose between six or 60 pulses per minute and then you can also switch the polarity between uh, negative or positive and then there is a peak voltmeter to uh, see how high a voltage you went up to when it activates and and such and you simply use this to test if your apparatus is designed good enough to withstand transients uh, on the mains input line or some other input yet that you want to do a destructive testing on so whereas this was a non-destructive test, this is a highly destructive test. It will destroy your equipment if you do not design it properly. Now the probes for this one is um, kind of funny. It looks like some high quality speaker or microphone connectors. Uh, it comes from a company called Limo. And we can see it's high voltage from the thick piece of insulation, white in the middle there. But then in the other end where you have the, uh, you connect to your stuff, that's just a plastic handle with a banana plug at the end. That seems a, a little sketchy and I doubt that that is the original design for, for this, but I could be wrong. That could be the original design. And then last over here, we have the Spellman High Voltage DC power supply, 10 kilovolts at 10 milliamps. Not much to see here, on off, you can adjust the output from 0 to 10 kilovolt and the output is on the back which is a high voltage um, antenna plug that you know from uh, most RF outputs on ham radios and such, uh, it's all in that range. Um, I know this was destroyed because uh, it's um, made for 120 volt AC uh, to, be meant to be used in the US. And somebody plugged it into the wall here in Europe and yeah I'm not quite sure if the power transformer was destroyed but certainly the transistors in the inverter for the air cord transformer that sit inside those are short-circuited. Now the last uh, apparatus I have in my repair queue is this Textronic 2225 50 MHz two-channel oscilloscope. Now this uh, won't even turn on, it's missing a lot of its uh, buttons and dials. So um, I'm not quite sure where I start with that, but probably we're taking the case off and just find out what is missing or blown. So I only have these uh, 
four pieces of equipment in my repair queue. So, I'll see you tomorrow.